Let's start out by breaking down the skins that will get the most value for your gems, and then I'll rank my favorite skins. Right now, the king has eight skins, which you can buy in the shop for 1,500 gems, and I'm gonna rank these from best to worst. The party king is the number one skin, which will get the most value for your gems. He was very close with the clockwork king, but the party king's sound effects and animations are slightly better than the clockwork king. The clockwork king is in second place. He will get you the second best value, and then the pirate king is in third he was just above the jolly king because he had a few more sound effects than the jolly king and by the way you can quickly see about how good a value a skin is going to get by just clicking the little eye icon next to the skin it'll give you a list of the effects and animations that they put on the skin but it won't give you the details on how many animations or how many sound effects or how long or how bright and colorful these animations are that's a, just a basic overview but this is going in depth for the best value so right under the pirate king at third is the jolly king at fourth place he has quite a few sound effects and animations and then the skeleton king is in fifth place i personally love the skeleton king's animations but he doesn't have any custom sound effects and he doesn't have tons of animations like the other skins the primal king is in sixth place the pekka king is is in seventh place and the gladiator king comes in last place with the worst value for your gems the archer queen has seven skins in the shop as of the day i'm recording this video the clockwork queen is the number one skin with the most animations and the only skin with sound effects the ice queen comes in second with a lot of animations but none of these other queen skins will have sound effects the pirate queen and the primal queen were really close but the pirate queen had slightly better animations than the primal queen the primal queen did come in fourth right under the pirate queen and then we have the autumn queen with some cool effects that none of the other skins have but she doesn't have as many animations as the other skins and then the gladiator queen and valkyrie queen actually tie with the same amount of animations they have a slightly different selection animation but other than that, all their animations are exactly the same, and a lot of them are the same as the normal Archer Queen skin, so these ones are not great value for your gems. The Warden has six skins in the shop right now, and at number one is the Clockwork Warden. The Clockwork Warden has tons of sound effects and tons of custom animations, and right below him is the Party Warden, again with tons of really cool sound effects and animations, not quite as many as the Clockwork Warden. But in third, fourth, and fifth, all of these skins were super close with the amount of animations and sound effects they had but in third is the pirate warden i put him here because his animations are better than the gladiator warden who is in fourth place and the gladiator warden was just under the pirate warden but he did have some better animations than the Warden of the North who is in fifth place. And then at the very bottom is the Primal Warden who really doesn't give much value for your gems. And then the only Royal Champion skin right now is the Winter Champion. This is a great skin. I don't have any other champion skins to compare it to, but definitely a good skin. I wouldn't say it's at the top, but it does have a few cool animations. Now I'm gonna rank these skins based on my opinion for the skins that I would buy with my gems. For the Barbarian, King, my favorite skin is the Party King, and that is definitely the one I would recommend for you buying if you want to get a lot of value for your gems and also get a really cool skin. In second place is the Skeleton King. I mentioned earlier how much I like his animations. They're just really, really cool animations and super unique for the Skeleton King, so definitely a great skin for your gems. I put the Jolly King in third place. I really like the design of the skins, and he has some cool animations, and he has custom sound effects. The Pirate skin is in fourth place this is a great skin as the pirate king is attacking he has custom sound effects which really add to the personality of the pirate king and he also has a custom sound effect for his selection animation and custom animations pretty much everywhere you play with him the clockwork king in fifth place i've always been a fan of the design of this skin and he also has tons of animations in sixth place is the pekka king it's a pretty good design but he doesn't have a whole lot of animations but i do like the glow effect of his sword and his voice sounds like he's inside his helmet the same with the gladiator king who's in seventh place his animations aren't quite as good as the pekka king but 
still a decent design for a skin. And in last place is the Primal King, which I've never really been a fan of. He does have a few animations, but I would not recommend buying the Primal King with gems. My number one Archer Queen skin is the Ice Queen. I love the design of this skin. She does have quite a few animations. I especially like her super animation, which kind of throws off some snowflakes as she uses her super. The Autumn Queen is in second, who has a really cool effect as she's walking around. There's some leaves blowing off her cape. The Clockwork Queen gets you tons of value. She has 100% custom animations and sound effects, which is unique to this Archer Queen skin. In fourth place, I put the Pirate Queen because she has some cool animations and I do like the design of this skin. Not my number one, but it is a great design. The Gladiator Queen is in fifth place with an okay design. She really doesn't have much animations, but I also put the Valkyrie Queen right below her, which is a similar skin as far as animations and sound effects go. But both these skins are okay designs, but they really don't have many animations. And then the Primal Queen is in last. Same with the Primal King. I'm not a fan of the Primal skins. She does have a couple cool animations, but I would not recommend buying her. For the Grand Warden, I put the Pirate Warden at number one because I'm a huge fan of his animations. They're so funny, and I also like his attacking animation where he's shooting his gun. I put the Party Warden in second place because he has tons of sound effects and animations, and I love his design also. In third place is the Gladiator Warden with that super unique element they added with the cloud that he stands on when he's on air mode, and you can also see in his selection animation. I really like his attacking animation also. The Clockwork Warden is in fourth with all his custom effects, animation, and his super cool design. The Warden of the North is in fifth. I do like the design of this skin, but it just doesn't have a ton of animations like the top four skins. And then in last place, can you guess? The Primal Warden is in last place. Again, I just, I'm not a fan of the Primal skins. Maybe you are, and maybe you'll want to buy them. It all comes down to opinion. And then the Royal Champion, I gave my opinion. Great skin, but it doesn't have a ton of animations. Still a great skin if you're looking for a Royal Champion skin. And if you want to know the top 5 ways to get free gems, you can click on this video right here.